Six local restaurants back open this morning after inspectors handed down emergency shutdown orders. That's a lot. So News for Jack's reporter Emily Boyer is here with this week's restaurant report card. And Emily, at one of those inspections, officials found the most roading drop its, ro droppings that you've seen in restaurant reports since 2019. Good morning, Melon Brews. From a food truck to a cafe and diner, pizzeria even, this week's violations include roaches, rodents, and raw food. We've got a lot of reports to go through here. Starting small, the food truck San Marcos Cheese Fries Coalition was shut down during a routine inspection last Thursday. The inspector found nine live roaches in a sink so full of dishes, employees couldn't wash their hands. Quick to correct, though, the food truck reopened the next day. The owners told me they have since made all the corrections, deep clean the whole truck and are happy to be back open. Kiki's Breakfast Cafe in St. Augustine was also quick to reopen after being forced to shut down after an inspection last Wednesday. The inspector found 70 rodent droppings in the electrical panel room and that the back door couldn't fully close. Kiki's reopened with a perfect score the next day. The owner says the restaurant has a history of perfect in inspections and has recorrected all of the issues, and she made a promise these issues wouldn't happen again. The next restaurant with issues is in the 840 building on Prudential Drive in downtown Jacksonville. That's where officials shut down the Kearns Riverview Bistro inside the tower last Wednesday. All totaled, they handed out seven violations, but one of those listed included 142 rodent droppings. Most of the droppings were on the window seals or shelving, but seven were counted inside of a clear pan holding seasonings. The inspector returned twice before the bistro was allowed to reopen. The owner tells me he hired a professional exterminator and cleaner and passed the returning health inspection. Now that's just three of the six restaurants that were closed last week. We'll have a full list on newsforjacks.com. Emily Boyer, Channel 4, The Local Station.